So don't quote me on this, but this may be the last episode uh, of this series because Egypt could pull out still a victory. I mean, we're going to try to nuke their cities and maybe make some things happen, but uh, they, did, they have the technologies to be able to, to send up their spaceship and launch it up to Alpha Centauri. So quickly, we need to take out this rocket artillery. We have a nuke coming for some supports. Uh, I don't want to call it a tactical nuke because it certainly is not tactical. We're just going to use it. Oh, nice. Whoa, that was nice. Um, what else can we use this for? I guess I could probably go down and attack this rocket artillery just because he's kind of annoying and he's in our way and he could cause us some trouble in the future. Here we go. That should be enough right there. Boom, because he can attack twice. Oh, he doesn't even need to. Okay, we'll attack this uh, archaeologist. Hell no, no archaeologist in our territory. And I will steal you. Well, we're not going to steal you, but I'm going to move, take you. I'm going to take you from behind? No, that's not appropriate. Uh, but that, and then that should seal it now. That should seal the deal. Yep, the nuke will be there next turn. I don't know if we're going to use it next turn, but we, it will be here next turn. And you know what, here, we need another cargo ship. We, we can build another cargo ship. We might as well do it. Dang, 42 turns in Nagasaki to build the SS cockpit. That is ridiculous. Holy shit. Everyone's making peace with China. Finally, now that the, the game is wrapping up, 1967, uh, and everyone's making peace. Thieves, what you going to do now? You going to nuke me or what? Carthage has made peace. Ramsey has made peace. Can I make? Oh, you know, maybe. You know what? I should probably just make peace with Egypt. Why not, right? Unless he re he might not do that. He might not accept that just because he probably really needs his capital back. What is this? SS Booster? Bruh. Bruh. You're trying to... Look, see, this is this is the thing. We, I, I, this is what I predicted. These cities, these really powerful production cities up north and to the east, were going to be building their spaceship parts, and then they were just going to be totally halt halted. Uh, or they wouldn't... I mean, they'd be built, and now they have to move it all the way down to Memphis. That's going to be difficult. Um, maybe I shouldn't make peace with them. It'd be nice to get that great general over now. Now I wouldn't even use him for the nukes to take away his uh, uranium uh, access, accessibility, access, 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 I guess. I don't know. Nope, not you anymore. Uh, I would just take away his, his way, his, I guess, his ability to go around. I guess, he, you know what he could do? He could go all the way around if Ethiopia gives him open borders. Yeah, if, if Ethiopia gives him open borders, he go out through the Saudi Arabian Peninsula around here through Ethiopia and then through Memphis, even if I were to take away these few tiles away from them. Um, but still, that would take a really long time, and maybe Gandhi would be able to pull out a victory. Who knows? Maybe he would. I wonder if my great prophet is ever going to get to that Mong Mongolian territory. How far away is he? He's not that far away. I mean, he's made significant progress. Oh, yeah, he's made some pretty good progress. Man, my happiness has done amazing. After we took Thebes... We have been doing just absolutely... I mean, we probably have control now of a lot of extra wonders. Um, oh my gosh, we're going to need a new, a new policy. What the hell are we even going to choose? Well, at this point, what does it really matter? Um, here, before I do anything, let's just go ahead and check with Egypt and see... Hey, buddy. You want to end this? You're willing to give me, like, all of your cities. I'm actually thinking about just doing it. Just taking it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and take it. We took Thebes, and uh, if I need to, I'll give it, give these uh, cities away. Hey, we're still at seven happiness. And look at that. Look at that Japanese empire controlling the uh, southern half of uh, the Arabian Peninsula. That's awesome. That is really, really, really cool. All right, I'm glad that I took those cities. That looks nice. I'm glad with the way our, our cities look. We don't really need science right now. Extra happiness would be really, really nice. Um, wasn't there? Yeah, here we go. Naval tradition is going to give us a lot of extra happiness. I'm just going to go for the happiness because we don't have a chance of winning this anyways. My production sucks too much. Wow. T back at 27. That is amazing. Uh, that is pretty incredible. I was not expecting that. There we go. We won this war. Uh, we might not have, we, we might, well, technically we might have only won the battle though. Uh, yeah, it would have been nice to drop a nuke on him, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. Let's go to the next turn and see who... Let's just play out this this game uh, for the first time. I'm not even worried about it either. I'm not even worried. I'm not... Usually I'm stressed out at the end of these games all the time. I've always been stressed out uh, in these playthroughs when the end of the game comes because I want to win. Uh, but this is the first time I'm not... I've, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable. I feel victorious. 
you know, I feel I feel straight up victorious here by taking Thebes, and then he let me with that awesome peace deal. Like, look at this map now. This is awesome. This is great. So yeah, I mean, we got very lucky, and actually, we did somewhat cut him off unless we connect our borders here. Um, our great general's on his way. We could technically separate himself. It would take him. He there's still ways around, but it would just be really, really difficult for him to find a way. Oh yeah, this SS booster did. Uh, he's going around, but that doesn't matter. He still needs one more spaceship part. That's fine. I don't. I don't really care. He can. He can do whatever he wants right now. I actually have another. Oh, that's right. The I my spy. I forgot about that. My spy that was located inside of Thebes doesn't have anything to do. So. I guess. I guess I'll just keep him there. Damn this SS boot. He's gonna. He's gonna be there soon. But I don't. He's got. He certainly has technology to get up the final. Spaceship part. I believe it might be the SS, uh... Is it the engine? I think it might be the engine that he still needs to bring up. Let me check. I don't know if I can open up this window while the turns are processing. Especially because everyone has to ask me every fucking question, every fucking time. Yeah, I think this is the SS engine. Oh, you know what? India is so close to, though. But you don't have a key. You don't have one of the key unique ones. The SS boosters are easy to get up. Uh, you still... The difficult ones are... The SS Cockpit and the SS Engine, SS sta Status Chamber. Uh, these are the difficult ones that take a little bit more production. And uh, obviously, the techs that you need. Uh, yeah, Gandhi doesn't have access to these techs. Pretty sure we, we talked about that in the Info Addicts. Uh, they, they do not have access to these techs. I believe they're, they're still at like 74. I don't know how the hell that happened. What the hell happened, man? Germany, you're, or India, you're still at 74. I guess Germany has more of a chance. Technically, uh, you know what? Technically, Egypt might still not have that last technology. If we look at the technology tech group... Um, oh, yeah. No, never mind. He's Yeah, he does. Because look at all these. Uh, he probably is missing three of, I don't know, the internet, globalization, nuclear fission. Who knows? But he's probably missing something like that. Uh, he's he's going to win. But uh, we I guess we just watch as this... As this SS booster gets over to Memphis. It's going to take a while, though. You don't have a road built. Oh, you're building roads. You are building roads. I mean, hey, I, 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 he's, he's going hard for it. He, he's, he's, really, he's really pushing for it. He is really pushing for it. He needs, he needs that victory. Oh, he actually probably made the wrong choice by going in that direction. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. He's fine. He's got one road built. Jesus, if everyone stops asking me questions... Yeah, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, just kind of cut to the end because that's all we're going to do. We are going to... Uh, there's really nothing else we can do. So we're going to go ahead and cut to the end here and see exactly who wins. Well, that didn't take long. Five turns later, it looks like Egypt did, in fact, win their victory. Uh, that's, that's fine. That's weird because they must have kind of boosted up both of their final remaining spaceship parts in the air at the same time because uh, before this, I hadn't seen anything else. So whatever, good strategy on them. They found a way around the uh, the newly acquired capital that we that we grabbed away from them. So you know what's cool though? Uh, I, I know that I did rank first in, in the world in terms of points. Uh, I didn't I didn't have that much points, but I still ranked in terms of score uh, the first in the world, which is I think pretty good. I think uh, you know if you want to class classified this is a victory i mean i lost I, i'm just I'm, I'm you know but be prepared that i'm fully making excuses for myself to feel better that i lost because that's just how i am i hate to lose but you know hey i had the number one score in the game i also had um i don't know did i have the most amount of capitals in this game i can't remember but i mean i only had three i only had two uh i, I probably did i probably did but it doesn't matter uh anyways we were number one in approval that doesn't mean anything we got that that last social policy which really boosted up our our happiness um, everything else is pretty average. We had a lot of crop yields. Yeah, we did have a lot of land by the end because of all those cities that Egypt was willing to give up to us. Uh, replay. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty here. This might actually take a very, very long time because this world has been insane. This is um, easily been, I think, the most heavily processed game, uh, at least for my computer. I, I Those turns were just taking crazy long at the end there which was it just really frustrating so uh yeah wow this is probably the one one of the most intricate maps or at least graphs i've ever seen this is insane um oh i didn't even realize that there's more than just score wow i am so dumb i am so dumb i didn't realize how much of the, is this is this because of the mod though 
This might be a mod reason though. I don't remember this. Maybe I'm just dumb and I never saw it before, but I do not remember this uh, different like sort of categories. It actually might have been there before, but wow, this is nice. Uh, who, who is it that just dropped? Oh, that was Egypt the very last second that just dropped out of nowhere. Yeah, so I, I just immediately just look at this look at this little like pathway between uh, myself and uh, oh, oh come on well whatever I guess I could just kind of show you briefly by taking away some of these uh, this right here this is we just had jolted in score after we took out uh, Thebes which is amazing okay so let's, let's look at the most exciting part of this game let's look at this map and uh, okay let's go ahead and press play and watch out as as we get to continue to progress. Now, I really want to see what was going on here in Europe. Now, we kind of got to see everything that went on in Eastern Asia, um, but we had no idea what, on, what, on, what went on in here, as well as Africa. I know there was a lot of exciting shit going on in Africa. We had Germany and Greece getting off fast with three cities. We have Morocco with three cities. Askia forward settling Carthage here. Actually, no, no, other way around. Carthage way forward settling Askia. Super dick moves there. Um, I'm just focusing in here again on, on Europe because I, I want to see. Wow, Elizabeth took off to a very, very slow start. Um, boom, Spain took one city from France. I, this is when Carthage probably takes it. Yep, Carthage takes the other city from France. Actually, you know what? Is that Spain? Spain actually took that city from France, and then Carthage made their foothold within southern uh, France later on in the game. What else happens? Greece and the Ottomans looks like it's getting tense between them. Egypt completely divides up Ethiopia. Um, Arabia off to an extremely slow start. There goes Carthage dropping that Spanish city. Uh, Germany, Ottomans, Russia, uh, Greece, all these guys going off hard, just hardcore up in here. Uh, oh yeah, Russia's, damn, Russia's making some huge advancements. And at that point, Germany only had one place to go, and that was north up towards Scandinavia. They had no other areas really to go for. Uh, Egypt continued to just to have Ethiopia completely divided right down the middle. That really screwed up um, Ethiopia's game plan, I'm sure. And then the Zulu just kind of stayed in control of the southern part of, uh, what is this, the, uh, the Cape, Cape Horn? Cape Horn of Africa, right down here. And they, I don't think they moved on much further than that. Uh, yes, we knew about India and, and Siam's expansion, and this was kind of just stuck right here. No wars really kind of went either way, it seems like. It seems like everything stayed about the same. Actually, you know what? Carthage and Askia were going at it pretty hardcore, but it looks like, looks like at the end there, Askia kind of, you know, stayed solid. We, we definitely grew uh, when we took over Korea, and then Mongolia takes over the rest of, of Korea. India was strong. Doesn't look like much of anything else happened in terms of war, but besides us, uh, kind of a somewhat boring world. I have to say, somewhat of a boring, boring world. Nothing really happened in terms of war. We were the only ones that were really pushing anything from happening. Um, and then, boom, we just immediately take a whole crap load of cities. And then that's it. That's the end of it. Didn't even realize that China had uh, once again gone back to East Asia. Wow. All right. Well, there it goes. Um... Looks like, oh my gosh, wait a second, no way, no way, that was, Gandhi had won a cultural victory, what the fuck, I, I, I thought it was Egypt, I thought it was Egypt, Gandhi won a cultural victory, I was super eliminating the possibility of a cultural victory, what the fuck, I guess I just wasn't reading notifications at all, I mean I was too busy just making sure that Egypt didn't win, wow, good for you Gandhi, good for you, let's see this. Shit, man. That's crazy. Who did you pass up at the last minute? I... Where, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Must have been here. Oh, you passed up Egypt at the last minute, and that's because I took away probably a lot of the amount of culture Egypt was generating per turn to allow Gandhi to win the cultural victory. Whoa, that was... That is a super big surprise. I'm so glad that I ch double checked that because I was I thought that was a little bit funny. I was like, wait a second. Egypt still had two more spaceship parts to launch up. I thought that was weird. Um, yeah, look, they still do. And, and and they were taking forever to get their SS booster up around my territory. Damn, you guys Don goofed. You guys seriously Don goofed. Well, I guess my computer doesn't want to cooperate anymore. But uh, as you see, the SS booster is still right here. Yep, right on there. 
They didn't even get it up into Memphis. So, yeah, we did have an impact on this game. We stopped Egypt from winning the game. Hey, I'll take that as a somewhat victory there, uh, especially because I'm number one in score. We had Gandhi pretty close behind, as well as Mongolia as well. But they were afraid of us. They weren't going to pass us up. Yeah, we had a pretty significant um, win here in terms of score, at least. If the game could have lasted another 100 turns, we would have won the, uh, the time victory. But, uh, yeah, hey, Gandhi was able to pull out the win. Very good. I'm going to have to decide exactly what we want to do next time. Uh, uh, I've got a, I've got a little bit of ideas that I want to do. Definitely, I've got a sieve that I'm playing uh, that I want to play as, and they are within this map. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I'll kind of let me leave your suggestions down below. Um, it's definitely not set in stone. Whatever I want to do in the next series. Uh, so please let, leave, you, leave your comment section. Leave your comments. I'm sorry in, in the section below. And uh, yeah, I might consider a few of them. I might. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm up for pretty much anything. Uh, but I definitely have something in mind. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. I appreciate you guys also um, excusing my, or, or being so supportive in my, my lack of a victory here. You guys have been so supportive and just like, hey, if you guys, you know, I know that you guys have just uh, always been leaving those comments like, hey, if you take over Thebes, uh, I'll, I'll consider that a victory. I, that really makes me really happy. You guys have no idea how, how much of a difference that really makes me because I, I feel I really beat myself over, over, up over these, uh, these losses here, but uh, I really, really appreciate the awesome comments that I've had throughout the series. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.